now that you've got the uh, hot end totally wired up, you have the back of the box on, spiral light on uh, your wires that are going from your, uh, your uh, extruder here. We need to use the two small holes that are on the side of the, the trolley here and use zip ties in them to secure the uh, spiral light so the spiral light doesn't uh, get caught either in the gears or uh, rub against the belt or anything like that on the Gigabyte. So I try to get it to fall right on the edge of the aluminum plate. And that keeps it out of the way of everything. And then just clip off the tails of your zip ties and your spiral light is installed. Now we're going to install the uh, bridge cable rod. <clears throat> and what we'll do is we'll start with attaching the x-axis motor cable here. Move these items out of the way. And then run the uh, x-axis uh, or x-limit switch. And I run these in between the, the nut that holds the uh, belt tensioning block and the, uh, the uh, bridge rail here. <clears throat> and I go underneath and actually attach the two terminals to the limit switch. Which is attached. <coughs> so the bridge cable rod is uh, here to support the x axis motor cable and that limit switch and keep everything out of the way. And you just start wrapping the spiral light around it. I try to keep the uh, the rod itself uh, on uh, towards the center and the cable on the outside. And that will become kind of important later. You don't ever want to uh, secure uh, this just on the uh, the cable itself with the nylon ties. You want to have a little bit of a little bit of slack here. <clears throat> there we go. Then you just start wrapping the spiral light around, and you're just doing it on the motor cable at this point. Wrap it around until you reach the uh, the end of this uh, cable cable rod. Here uh, should fall behind the uh, nut of this upper uh, V group wheel piece of hardware. So that's your reference point, and you bring the uh, limit switch wire up, lift the whole unit up, keeping the wire tight with the X limit switch because when you drop it down, it's actually going to give some slack to the uh, the connections of the uh, excellent switch. So with all of them together, you finish the spiral light out. It's about 11 and a half piece, uh, inch piece long uh, of the small spiral light. It should go beyond the rod just a little bit. check once whenever you lay this in before you actually uh, cable tie it in you want to look underneath and 
make sure the uh, limit switch wires uh, aren't taut, which they are not. So now we'll take our zip ties. This is where you don't want to uh, zip tie your, have the, the motor wire in between the zip tie uh, and the, the wire. You want to have at least some kind of spiral light that's over it. That's how you install the bridge cable rod. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the spiral light and we're going to wrap it around the uh, filament tube and the motor cables, uh, both the ex uh, extruder motor cable and the uh, x-axis motor cable and limit switch. So I hook my tape measure underneath the, uh, the filament tube uh, attachment connector and I mark it at 16 inches approximately so I've got a sharpie here since it's Teflon uh, it doesn't really stick then now you have to come back to the filament rod um, and you're going to bend it over and you need to know where the end of the filament rod is going to land on here for purposes of incorporating the uh, the rod and the spiral light. So once we've done that, we're going to use uh, one small zip tie. Uh, you might have one laying around your house or the shop. Bring it around the extruder uh, head wires here, and what you're looking to achieve here is just like the x-axis motor or any of the other motors you want to make sure that you have a little bit of slack on this extruder motor uh, in comparison to the head cable and the filament uh, filament tube so I put that on and tighten it up and that allows me to start putting on the spiral light This is very time consuming. And so, in putting on the spiral light, it's good to have a little spacing. This is how the length of spiral light is cut, uh, is in consideration of having spacing uh, along uh, the way it's uh, wrapped and routed on here. So, we're just going to bring the spiral light up to that first mark that we made at 16 inches. Which is right there. And we're going to basically hold the wires, uh, the, the, you can hold the filament tube here to get the, uh, the angle or the line, uh, how you want the uh, wires to uh, go to the, to the uh, back of the box. And then you're going to get your X uh, motor and limit switch and integrate that into this main wiring bundle here. Before you get too far, you want to kind of double check it so that you don't have to work backwards. Uh, you want to make sure that you have um, adequate. Uh, adequate amount of, of wire uh, because whenever your head travels all the way to the right hand side here and your uh, motor is on the left hand side 
uh, you don't want it to uh, impede the movement um, of the head because of the tension of the wires. So once whenever you've done that, you just continue to wrap the spiralite around the whole bundle here. You can just wrap it, don't, not having to worry about uh, spacing at this point in time. go a few inches and then come back here and do the separation of the spiralite. Once again, uh, you have to do that because the spiralite will not be long enough to just butt up uh, from one end to the other. when you're doing this because uh, you can uh, whip around and get hit in the face. So a safety moment there. And we're coming up to the line. <clears throat> Once again I've gone a few inches so now I'm going to come, come back and spread the uh, spiralite out. So now you're going to integrate the uh, the spiralite, uh, the rod, uh, into the spiralite and everything. So what we have here is we have a small piece of shrink tube that holds this rod uh, to the filament um, filament tube. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our heat heat shrink gun here, heat it up and. Uh, Shrink it to it. Be careful not to uh, melt your wires. And there you have it. So we're going to continue on and we're going to incorporate the rod and the filament tube in the spiralite. In one note, uh, you can look from the x-axis motor and the uh, x-limit uh, switch that there's a small piece of this spiralite that's uh, holding those two wires together so they uh, don't separate. Again, run it a few inches, spread it apart. If you find it's getting a little loose, you can take it and uh, turn the whole uh, spiralite wrap there, and it kind of sucks down on everything. Uh, one thing that we have, it looks like we have a, the filament tube looks like it's just a little bit too long here so what I'm going to do is get uh, a utility knife razor knife and you can just push down on the uh, blue plastic piece on this fitting 
to take the uh, filament tube out and it goes about a quarter inch below the uh, the bottom of the fitting here and so that's what we want to do is we want to take off about a quarter of an inch so carefully remove about a quarter of an inch off and then reinstall it into the fitting and you'll see that it matches up with the curve of the rod a little better so we'll continue wrapping the spiral light around and when you get about four inches above the uh, above the end of the uh, uh, tube you no longer want to be wrapping the the uh, rod and the tube in with the wiring you're going to just start wrapping all four cables together only the cables and we're going to start wrapping them going towards the panduit that runs up the back side of the uh, electrical box uh, a common rail Some of these cables are a little bit longer than others. Sometimes you get a little extra uh, spiral light. So what we'll do with the spiral light is cut some of the excess off because you just need it to go into your panduit here. So we've got it going into the panduit. And once again, this extra piece can be used here uh, before you uh, actually uh, start doing uh, the major spiral light wrapping here or if you have excess you can keep it and if you see someplace else you'd like to put it on your bot you can do that uh, at this time what we'll do is we'll tuck all of the wires in because all of the panduit covers are on uh, everything with the exception of this uh, vertical one so we'll just Tuck everything in. And then get our panduit cover. I usually start from the bottom and work up. However is more comfortable for you. There you have the Panduit cover on it. And I had a small piece of wire that's holding the uh, heated bed wires off to the side so it didn't fall out so I could put the conduit covers on so you remove that now. So your wiring is installed on your Gigabot.